Hey guys, it's Low. Welcome back to another episode of Low Knows. Okay, so this is the third and final lesson of improving your audio for YouTube or just videos in general. And as you can see right now, I'm using a pretty crappy microphone. Well, let's give the Xbox One a break. This is what you're going to get. You know, you, you get what you pay for. So this is me on an Xbox One um, headset. And we're going to take this into Vegas Pro. We're going to EQ it as some, uh, a noise gate, equalizer, compression, and see how well we can make this sound. Now, before anything, let's just say if you're really serious about maybe using an Xbox One, you can, you can see how I have that microphone actually pretty high on me. If I have it right down to my lips, it's going to catch a lot of breaths, a lot of motion, just kind of like a pop-up. It's going to be a really messy signal, so I just have it kind of away from it. So I have a nice away from my mouth, where it's just it's catching my voice, but it's not catching all the busyness of my mouth and the breaths that's going on. Um, and you know you actually get a cleaner signal so then we'll bring it into Vegas and then we'll, we'll pump it up we'll, we'll juice it up and we'll actually make it sound pretty good all right let's get into it okay so when EQing maybe like a chat headset you know like an Xbox one or maybe like a Logitech headset anything anything you know with around the ears and it's just a, a really cheap microphone you know the 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 what I'm talking about the sound that you're gonna get from it there's certain characteristics within those microphones that you know that you have to adjust a lot of those microphones they're on the high end because the people need to hear you on the other side you know let's just say if you're playing games you know you're playing like some kind of first and shoot first person shooter and you've got your teammates talking to you and you've got gunshots firing off they need to send out a certain frequency so your voice can actually get through and, and you know and, and be heard by like your teammates or something or just maybe any any guy any kind of in in game chat you know they sound like that for a reason yeah they sound like that because they're cheap microphones uh and they, they don't have any uh they can't afford to put any kind uh any kind of low presence within them but you know it, it it cuts through those kind of sounds cut through and that's why they're kind of tailor-made uh toward that okay so let's take a listen to our audio and let's see what we can do to it remember these microphones are on the high end by by default so they're, we're gonna have to introduce some low end into the signal before with the other microphones we wanted to take the low end because the low end was just so present now they're just too high, so now we have to introduce the high end so it's not so grainy and, and just kind of uh, crazy to our head. All right, so first, before we add a noise kit, let's see what kind of noise floor we're dealing with. Okay, so besides from the smack of my lips, there is like a bit of a hiss. Um, and actually, you know, for an Xbox head chat uh, chat headset, it does it's pretty cool, pretty good. Okay, so not a lot of noise, but still, let's see where our noise floor is. Maybe like 48. Okay, so our noise floor is 48. So as you can see, compared to the other microphone, this microphone, where it was 51 before, the noise floor is just a little bit higher on the Xbox One uh, headset. So let's, let's apply a noise gate. And then I will set it for around, I'm going to go ahead and go back to noise gate set two, uh, preset two, and I will go ahead and I will apply to 48. And let's see if our noise floor is gone. Pretty good. Yes, it's gone except for a couple clicks that are here and there. So what I want to do is I want to I want to increase my release and my attack so the clicks aren't so hard. You know, usually you would use an attack and release normally on drums because it's like boom, boom, boom. You know, and that's why there's like a fast and a release so it can so it can it can handle like drums. Um, all right, so here. Okay. All right, so okay, so since there's a little more artifacting within uh, the where'd you go, the Xbox headset, you know, we're gonna have to play with the attack and release more because of the little more the little more uh, random sounds that it introduces. Okay, so let's 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 bring the noise sort of just a little lower. Let's see if that does anything. It's quieter, but we still get those those clicks. We may have to. Let's, let's make the attack faster, but the release slower, even slower. Let's make the attack slower. There we go. Okay. Hey guys. I don't know, but it kind of loses the effect altogether. All right, so so let's let's go even more. Let's maybe we need to increase our noise floor, so we can actually push down on those clicks as well. Let's see let's see where the noise floor for the clicks are. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so that worked. We went we went up we went up higher on the noise floor, so we can push down or eliminate the clicks that were going on. So we handled that off the bat. 
Hey guys, it's Lo. Welcome back to another episode of Lo Knows. Okay, so this is the third and final lesson of improving your audio for you. Okay, so we hear it. It needs a little. It needs a little help. So we're gonna add some equalization to it. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some bass to it because I know there's not enough low end to it to kind of make it full. So let's let's go a little exaggerated, and then we'll roll off uh, over time. Hey guys, it's Lo. Welcome back to another episode of Lo Knows. Okay, so this is the third and final lesson of improving your audio for YouTube or just videos in general. And as you can see right now, I'm using a pretty crappy microphone. Well, let's give the Xbox one a break. This is what you're going at, you know. You All right, so I add about four decibels of low end, and it's already sounding pretty good. Let's let's play with the uh, mid. Do I want to roll off on that? Let's see. This is me on an Xbox One um, headset, and we're going to take this into Vegas Pro. We're going to EQ it as some uh, a noise gate equalizer compression and see how well we can make this sound now before anything let's just say if you're really serious about maybe using art and let's start uh playing with the treble and of course the treble uh, uh affects the the intelligibility of your sound making it more clearer now it's already clear enough so let's see what happens when we go up and down let's see how it affects our voice xbox one you can see how i have that microphone actually pretty high on me if i have it right down to my lips it's going to catch a lot of breaths a lot of motion just kind of like a pop up it's gonna be a really messy signal so i just have it kind of away from it so I have a nice away from my mouth where it's just it's catching my voice, but it's not catching all. All right. So I went down on the trouble and and that graininess, that sharpness that we were getting from the, the, the chat headset. It's going away. It's, it's now a little more uh, smoother to the ears, but it, it's we are losing some. We are gaining a little muddiness. So let's just bring a little more trouble back into it. The busyness of my mouth and the breath that's going on. Um, and, you know, you actually get a cleaner signal. That sounds freaking awesome it it sounds like a default microphone like this without even doing any anything to it i don't i don't want to mess with this anymore i feel like this is pretty crappy microphone oh. guys if you are if anyone out there is using something like this and you follow the steps as, as far as recording these are probably the settings you you want to go with start with uh four decibels uh the mid-range uh 0.7 decibels the treble uh negative five point negative 1.5 decibels uh for the treble and of course the noise gate that we apply to as well. Okay, so one final thing. Let's let's add the compression. Let's smooth it out. Is it, is it, it as some, uh, a noise gate equalizer compression and see how well we can make this sound. Now, before anything, let's just say if you're really serious about maybe using an Xbox One, you can. All right, so the audio is sounding pretty good. I I really don't think we to need to even need to add a compressor, but we're gonna do it anyway and see what kind of results we'll get. Uh, Express EQ Dynamics. Or at no express effects dynamics. All right, and as always, no. I will. I don't think it needs a lot. Put three, and let's see where we are. Let's see how much compression we need to uh, add on top of it. You see how I have that microphone actually pretty high on me. If I have it right down to my lips, it's gonna catch a lot of breaths, a lot of motion, just kind of like a pop up. It's gonna be a really messy signal, so I just have it kind of away from it. So I have a nice away from my mouth. Where it's just it's catching my voice, but it's not catching all the busyness of my mouth and the breath that's going on. Um, and you know, you actually get a cleaner signal. So then we'll bring it into Vegas, and then we'll we'll pump it up, we'll, we'll juice it up, and we'll actually make it sound pretty good. All right, let's get into it. That's that is it. Let me give you a before and after. This is sounding freaking awesome. I think for all of that, and we came to a really good final ending. Okay, so this is before. Sorry. No, no. Okay, this is before. It's just gonna catch a lot of breaths, a lot of motion, just kind of like a pop up. And this is now. It's away from my mouth, where it's just, it's catching my voice. But it sounds smooth, it sounds full, it sounds like a real condenser microphone. Well, as close as it can get to it. It's about maybe using an Xbox One. You can see how I have that microphone actually pretty high on me. Hey guys, it's low, welcome back. You hear that, how that's sharp? Hey guys, it's like really sharp and we're here. Hey guys, it's low, welcome. It's a little sharper, Does it's not as crazy. That's it, you know, that was it. Simple, uh, simple adjustments within the noise gate, the equalization, and of course, the compressor as well, will make your headset microphone sound really, really good. And 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 have your have your viewers kind of guessing, man, what are they doing? What are they using? How are they getting their audio to sound like that? It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, all right, so I hope you started with the first lesson to kind of understand, because I'm sure by the time if you got to this, me messing around with the meters, you just you got you understand what's going on and how everything is affecting what, um, and so forth. And yeah, so guys, we did it. We got through it, improving our audio. Uh, 
to make our videos sound good and, and, and most of all, understanding how to manipulate our audio using the plugins that are available to us in Vegas Pro. All right, guys, if you like this video or this series of videos, go ahead, please leave a like. Uh, go ahead, subscribe if you, want, if you want to see more future videos and also check out my other videos as well. Uh, you know, I'm really happy with this series of videos. I think I've, out of all the Improve Your Audio videos I did, I think I, I like this. I think I'm getting better at it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I did more videos in the future about improving your audio. But whatever, you know, we do this to uh, uh, to improve what we do and also share it with others as well. All right, so like I said, leave a like, subscribe so I don't miss any videos. Please leave comments uh, down below. Let me know what you think, if it helped you, if it didn't help you, um, and kind of share your experiences because we all have different setups. Uh, let me know what's working, what's not working for you, and we'll get through this. And I'll try to help you out the best I can. Uh, I can. All right, guys. Also, please check out my so check out my social media: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Low nose, sort of. Got a whole bunch of behind the scene videos that I like to share with you, um, inc um, including one like this as well. All right, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.